see a close up of its f what nightmares <laughs> wow wow no oh nightmares in a garden yay hey guys today's video is yet another stuff and things video i know I know there's a lot of them right now. This will be the last one for a little while, though that being said, I did just receive an email the other day saying the August hamster mailbox is on its way. So anyway, a few weeks back, I received a video suggestion from a viewer whose name right in this moment, I cannot remember, but here they are asking if I would do a pet haul from the website Wish. Now at the time, I was not familiar with this site. I had only heard of it through seeing it trending on YouTube during the beginning of the year. And that was kind of it. So I wasn't really sure what to expect with this. And I, I <laughs> well, uh, it's an interesting place. To summarize it, it's an online marketplace where various sellers can sell various things for sometimes insanely low prices. And there's a lot of strange stuff on there. But I thought this was an interesting video idea, so I made a point of looking for items that I could not get locally, quirky things that maybe I hadn't seen elsewhere, and I bought 12 items. I bought something for every single one of my pets. So we've got hamster stuff, mouse stuff, cat stuff, and dog stuff. As my channel is focused around rodents, we're gonna start with the rodent stuff. And I think, I think we're gonna go with this thing first. Now this has arrived in a very dusty resealable bag and in pieces, which is cool because it makes it cheaper to post. It's a little bridge that you just have to build together yourself. And there were a lot of products like this on the site when you search for hamster toys. The colors I have for the steps are a little strange. I have three pink, two blue, and one green, but there's six of them. So it's not like the green is, is a central point to anything. It's just a random green one. Also, they feel a little bit dusty, so I'm definitely going to be giving this toy a wash before I give it to anyone. Okay, so to build this, I've just put all the legs on one half of the bridge, and then I'm just going to slot the other half on. Easier said than done. Feels like a piece is missing from that top bit, though, don't you think? I mean, there's no... There's no... Is there... Did I leave something behind? Oh. Oh. I just found the other green piece. <laughs> okay, so there it is finished. So you can ignore what I said about there not being an uh, even number of colours, because... Apparently I'm just stupid. Considering this only cost me uh, about two or three euros, I think that's a pretty good deal for that. That's adorable. Oh, now I'm regretting this. The second thing I bought is another one of these build-it-yourself houses. Uh, this one actually comes with screws and a tiny screwdriver though, which uh, that's interesting. <gasps> no! Oh, some of the pieces are broken in this one. Oh, that's a bummer. No! So this piece here is supposed to be together like this, but it, it, it snapped, which is a shame. It's easy enough to fix, I'll just use some PVA glue, um, but it means I can't build it right now. So what I'll just do is I will pop on screen the picture of the product I bought so you can see what it will look like. It does look like that's the only piece that's broken though, so I'm, I'm not too worried. Again, this only cost two, three euros, so... Okay, next item. This is so, so cute. I have bought in a tiny little bashed up box a hamster sized spaceship or a mouse sized spaceship. It really doesn't matter. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I'm sure this was only like two euros. One for the product and one for delivery. Look at that. My focus is awful. Look. It's so cute! Does it come- oh it does, it comes apart. Well that's great, that makes it easier to clean. So it's just in two pieces and it sits together like that. Oh, I love that so much. So the next item I bought for Zinc, who loves his hanging toys, and I found this by searching for bird toys. It's just a very simple wood and sizzle string hanger with a little bell on the end and a little clasp on the top, so that just hangs from the cage and uh, he's free to climb and chew it. Nothing too exciting, but I'm always looking for new hanging toys for him because he loves to climb so much. The next couple of items are all hammocks and my hamsters could definitely use these, but I bought them with zinc in mind. So first of all, I have just a basic blue hammock and this is made from a really, really stiff material. There's, there's no uh, sort of threading. There's nothing coming off it. It looks pretty decent. Got the standard hammock clasps on each corner. It does have this ticket here, which I will probably cut off. Uh, but generally it seems like quite a good quality 
piece of material also would be very easy to hand wash, which is important when you're using fabric in your pet cages. The next hammock I could not leave behind. I've seen it on so many people's Instagrams and I could not find it anywhere. It's a banana. Now, I don't think the quality of this one is as good as it is from other online shops. Uh, you can see if I can fix the focus, you can see the stitching inside isn't great. It's not the tidiest and I have definitely seen better quality ones, um, but that's purely aesthetic. Zinc's not going to care about that. Again, it seems to be made from very sturdy, safe materials. We've got the long chains with the hammock clasps on the end, but it's just, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't leave that behind, could you? It's, it's adorable. It's a banana. You won't be able to see this on camera, but this one does have a weird kind of greeny brown stain on the fabric there. Um, not sure what that's all about. The final hammock. I, 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 I can't believe I bought this thing. This is, oh, it's, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I bought this creature. What, what is it? <laughs> Oh, it's just, it looks, it, I, no, I, I cannot even with this thing. It's supposed to be an octopus. There were so many really nicely made octopus hammock designs that I could have bought. And I saw this and I was like, no, 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 it's got to be that one. This is just so horrific that I need it. So he has this uh, little removable pad inside him, which I suppose is, makes things easier to clean. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't really sit very well. It just kind of, it's very loose in there. You can see, it just, it's a bit weird. And then it has the, the chain on the top, but here's the thing, he hangs mouth down. <laughs> oh, this is so awful. You were absolutely worth the two euros, but you are awful. So I'm gonna have to adjust the position of the chain. I'll just fix a loop on top here and then uh, move it across. Otherwise, he's not gonna be able to actually get inside there. Oh, I suppose you could also just remove the chain and have it as just a simple hideaway fabric. The, 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 the pad is... T I haven't even done anything and the pad's already moved. But I went into this one knowing it would be ridiculous, so I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, after that monstrosity, let's move on to... Let's do the kitty cat stuff. The first thing I bought for the cats is one of these corner brushes that you fix to the corner of one of your walls or a cupboard or a unit or wherever, and your cats can rub past it. Uh, it is actually really hard. I was thinking it was going to be like um, maybe a silicone or something, but this is it's a hard plastic, so I'm not sure if my cats are going to end up using this. It's a lot it's a lot rougher than I was expecting. I'm very glad it's grey and not some horrible bright colour. When I ordered it, I'm pretty sure it was grey on the website, but you can never be 100% sure when you're ordering these things whether they're going to come in the same colour, and so often they end up being like a lime green or something. To fix this to your wall, it comes with both 3M sticky strips, so if you can't do anything permanent to your walls, that's pretty useful, and it also has screws in it in case you do want to do something permanent to your walls. The brush itself actually comes apart, from this back bit and so if you're going to use the screws you'd obviously take that off screw it into the wall and then put the brush in place oh that's actually really springy considering it's just plastic it also comes with a little baggie of catnip so you can put that between the back panel and the brush just to mess with your cats even more oh in fact it has on the brush you can see uh, it has these little pockets here so you can probably put the catnip in there Anyway, it's just a, a cool little thing that I think my cats will appreciate. We will see. We will see. The next item, again, something I've seen in so many places but could not get hold of until now. It's a mackerel. It's one of those realistic fish kicker toys and they had so many different designs. They had so many different fish species. Um, they also had different sizes. This is the medium size from the ones I bought. And the reason I bought the medium is because the medium and the large have a zipper so you can actually uh, open them up and the reason I did that, the reason I needed that, is because I also bought a tube of catnip. My cats love catnip, especially Elizabeth, but I find if you buy the pre-made catnip toys, the ones that you can't open up and already have the nip inside them, once that smell fades, they completely lose interest in the toys and it kind of becomes a waste. So what I found is the best thing to do is to buy toys with zippers on them and just keep buying fresh catnip. So every time it fades, you can just keep topping it up and they never lose interest in the toy. So I'm gonna be filling this up and giving it to them later and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And the last couple of items are for the dogs. These are both soft toys, which they both enjoy. For some reason, my dogs hate rubber toys and I think 
possibly they don't like the taste of them not sure why but they go crazy for soft toys so we make sure we keep a good supply um first one i i'm sure this was a better quality on the website but it's a little piggy it's a, well it's a long piggy i swear his face was better quality on the site i'm sure it wasn't quite as evil looking and he appears to have bunny ears for some reason um but he's got a little squeaker in him and yeah he's just a just a basic Toy. I like the design of this though because you've got the space here for the dog to grab hold of it and Rodney will appreciate that with his huge snout. And the very last thing I bought was too cute, couldn't leave it behind. It's another banana. <laughs> How can you say no to that? It's the most adorable thing ever. It's a happy banana. Also, it has crinkly peels and my dogs love crinkle sounds in toys so yeah, they're gonna enjoy that. I will admit it's a little smaller than I was expecting. I thought it'd maybe be about that tall but uh it's not super tiny so it's not gonna be a problem for my dogs to play with it's just oh, i don't i'm not even gonna want to give it to them it's just so cute i want him for myself so that's everything i bought from wish do i think it was worth it some of the stuff definitely was because there's no way i could get it elsewhere some of it i bought just because it was silly and and made me laugh which is you know a totally responsible use of money everything i bought was either pretty cheap for what it was or a price i would expect to pay for it in a normal shop i don't think i was really scammed or swizzed on anything except maybe this monstrosity oh he needs a name he's so awful he needs a name please in my comment section name this thing i i just i oh it needs something to be happy about in life <laughs> would i buy from wish again Maybe, if it was something that I either really couldn't get hold of and had to have, or if it was really, really cheap, maybe. But, um, yeah, I'm not, it would depend It would depend on what it was I wanted, I suppose. This was a lot of fun, though, so thank you to the person who suggested this video idea. And if you guys enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I promise the next video will be a proper video, not just another stuff and things video. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Lots and lots of just standard, typical OMG. That is not a typical hamster supply. That is amazing. And I love it. Oh, it's a ham for a hamster. That is so cute. What is that rabbit doing? It's sitting on a nest. It's so small and fluffy. It's so cute. Oh, it's gone. Wait, oh, it's a penny gig. It's also a cat. So cute. Oh my god, it's a watermelon. A watermelon and a strawberry and a feeding bottle. That's just weird. Don't you just hate it when in one shop you're a size eight and in another shop you're a size watermelon? Where is that even going? Where's that gonna take him? What kind of adventure is this going to set him on? What has happened to my cursor? Wow, I, stop. <laughs> Why it's stuck? It won't move! No! The cuteness is just too much! I have absolutely nowhere to keep it in my home, but look at it! Oh, that is cute. Boop. De schnoot. What? Hello? <gasps> they have other foods. Oh, watermelon. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. It's such a happy place. They have them in different sizes. Oh my goodness. It's a hamster tissue box. It's a hamster tissue box. Oh my goodness. See, that's how you do it. That's how you make a cute octopus. It doesn't look like it's gonna devour you from the inside out. These recommended retail prices make me laugh so much because they're clearly fake. They are so fake. Oh yes, we were going to sell you this beautiful structure for 60 euros, but then we realized that's insane. So now it's six. <gasps> Watermelon! <gasps> Why do- <gasps> Banana! There's a banana! I don't need these, but I need them. Squish! That is some intense boop schnoop. Oh, no! Why? Why it's I? That's just- that's mean. Oh. It's a bumblebee! Oh, this video is devolving so, so quickly. What is that? This is awful. This is the worst. This is a nasty thing. Please, don't. Just don't. Don't. Oh, well, it turns out it gets worse. It gets much worse.
33, are you kidding me? 33 euros for that. For uh, this, 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 this. Oh my goodness, no, there's more. There's, oh my, they don't stop. They keep on coming. They're everywhere. <gasps> no, that's no. Ew, no, no, it, no. Just no, 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 no. No, don't you get a proper travel cage. Oh my goodness. No. This is awful. I'm leaving. 